I'm going to start off with Straight Out of Compton. Now, you being a music fan, mm. uh, are, do you know much about the NWA? Uh, yes, please do not explain who they are. Yes, I will explain who they are. We can't uh, really talk about what that actually stands are for. Are they? I, I know this, this will sort of sound strange. something with attitude, let's yes. just say. Aren't they one of the popular uh, favourite groups of our Chancellor? Um... George Osborne. I was about to say Gideon Osborne, but we're not we're supposed to call him that. Uh, that's actually his name. Um, didn't George Osborne once reveal that, that Straight Outta Compton, one of his favourite songs? <laughs> it might have been, I don't know. <laughs> that, that, now, that would be worth investigating. Very funny. Anyway, 1987, five young men really changed what hip-hop was all about. We had people like, you know, Vanilla Ice and all these all these, all these bands were re really pushing uh, what uh, well, black black uh, music was was talking about in that time, and they really transformed it, and was talking about what was happening in Compton, in Los Angeles, and they they basically exploded. So we had Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and all all of those ones from that that most famous band, and it is quite a fascinating story to be honest, because it's talking about them trying to get out of the hood, trying to get out of a gang situation, which they had quite a lot of in uh, Los Angeles at that time. And it's talking about them rapping about things that actually appeal to them. And it, it was a, an astonishing rise to fame. I mean, Dr. Dre now is, is absolutely huge. I mean, he's, 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 you know, he owns Beats, he works with Apple, and uh, he's still, you know, like a recording artist. He discovered, like, Eminem, and, uh, you know, uh, Ice Cube's uh, a big actor now. He's, he's, got, he's, he's got films coming out this year. He's, you know, Ride Along 2's coming out in a couple of weeks, uh, making loads of money. And it... It, they, they started off with nothing. It's one of those rags to riches stories, uh, but it's how they influence music, how they transform music. That that East Coast West Coast thing that kicked off between you know with Biggie Smalls and and Tupac and all those type of things as well. So if you, you never got this with John Denver and Dolly Parton, no, did you? you didn't. No, no, not really. Uh, you know, like they didn't have the, the Memphis Crew or <laughs> something like that. Memphis versus Detroit, or you know that that type of thing. Uh, but it's you know it's a really interesting story, and if if you like the music, you're going to get a lot more of uh, out of it than than most people, I think. Uh, but there's some really excellent performances, including o O'Shea Jackson Jr., which is 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 uh, actually Ice Cube's son, and he looks of course he looks a spitted image of him, and uh, but he is basically I think he's the the breakout artist. But it's all about them discovering how much of the, how their money actually goes towards things because they've got a dodgy manager played by Paul Giamatti who was actually raking everything in and, and exploiting mm. them and them them going out on their own and doing their own projects and making their own money. I'm going to give it three stars for the majority of people because if you have to really be into your hip-hop uh, to be like that but for people who are into that I'd probably give it four stars for those.